Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure default routing. In the previous lecture, remember, we demonstrated how we can configure static routing. Okay? And we said, in static routing, we make a router to be aware of other networks in the entire topology. Okay? For example, this router zero here. We want it to be aware of this network, okay? Remember, by default, this router here knows only this network and this network. So it's upon the routing protocol that we will configure that will make this router to be aware of this network, okay? As well as this router to be aware of this network, okay? So we manage to configure static routing in all these routers the two routers okay and now this computer here can communicate with this computer here okay so allow me to show you the static routing that we configured so i'll go to that router enable config t and do show ip route okay see okay this is router zero Remember router 0 is connected to which network? This network and this network. It's not connected to this one. But due to static routing, we have specified that whenever router 0 receives a packet matching this destination address, it should forward that packet through this interface. That was the first way to configure static routing. Okay? So allow me to comment so that uh, you can have a recap of the previous class very very fast. Static routing, the two are very very similar, okay? Static routing and uh, default routing. The configuration part becomes very very similar. So for the case of static routing, we said for router, for, for router zero, okay? So I put out, this is a command that you must never avoid for the case of static routing, okay? 192, we want it to be aware of these networks. So, 68.2.0. Then its subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0. And now this is the most important part. So after receiving this packet, where do we want this router to forward that packet? There are two ways. It can forward this pa that packet through this interface, the outgoing interface, or the IP address of the next stop. The IP address of this interface. We can use an outgoing interface or the IP address of the next stop. The outgoing interface for the first case is dig 0 slash 0. Okay? And another way we can do, let me just copy paste this one. And let me say or or this one so for the second case you specify the ip address of the next stop which you this interface so let me just go to that interface and check uh, ip address of it it was 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 okay so you come here and type 10.10.10.2 by this simple command we shall have configured static routing in router 0 and now we can do the same on router 1 for the case of static routing and now what about default routing default routing we see we configure router to forward all the packets to a single router known as the next op okay if we configure this router with the default routing okay every packet will be forwarded to this router as well as this one if you configure it as default routing every packet will be forwarded to this one so how do we configure it very simple guys i will comment and show you ip route is a command very allow me to type uh, default routing first default routing okay then what do we do 
first command is IP route very similar to static cloud okay and now for the case of default routing the network address and subnet mask should be of any network any network basically means 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 okay any subnet mask basically means 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 okay okay guys space that one and now after receiving this packet matching the destination or address of any network where should it forward to we said IP address of the next stop for the case of router 0 it should forward that packet to IP address of this host next stop I mean which is 10.10.10.2 so that one we have managed to configure default routing in router 0 okay so let's go to router 1 and do the same for the case of router 1 I'll copy this copy and try to comment for the case of router 1 is the same thing what will change is the IP address of the next op which is dot one here whenever this router receives any packet it will, it will forward all those packets to this next stop IP address of the next stop okay very simple guys for the case of default routing and static routing very simple see static routing just specify the network that you want the router to be aware of and the interface through which that packet can be forwarded or the IP address through which that packet can be forwarded okay but for the case of default routing very simple the network of any network I mean address of any network should be forwarded to a single router remember in static routing we specify that this network these these but default routing any any all okay any basically you can say all okay but static this network should be go through this one but default all network any network should go through this one very simple so guys let's go back to router 0 and see this was static routing configured successfully so we want to configure default routing we said we type which command ip route 0, .0, .0, .0. any network matching any subnet mask okay should be forwarded to the next op IP address which is 10.10.10.2 okay and you hit enter default routing has been configured successfully and now we will type the same command to show the IP route again and you will see default route will come okay alongside static routing so do show IP route so guys see the first one is static routing that we configured in the previous class and now the second one is default routing that we've just configured now default routing basically has been notated by is notated by this and asterisk okay as you can see any network this one should go through which interface this one through which uh, IP address this one okay and do all right then you come to this route again and configure static default routing I mean enable configure remember we configured static routing in the previous class config t okay do show IP route see static routing is here whenever this router router one receives a packet matching this destination address it should forward that packet to the next op IP address right there are two ways to configure static uh, routing okay so i'll configure default routing which basically stand for which basically is configured by which command ip route zero any network guys zero dot zero dot zero dot zero like this one any subnet mask okay then which then we want that packet to be forwarded through which into which uh which part the ip address of the next which is 10.10.10.1 is this is this one remember we have configured we are configuring default routing in router one 
but now the IP address of the next stop is this one, the IP address of this interface. Okay? Very simple, guys. So I will hit enter and do right. And now let's do show IP route. See, guys, it has come here. S with asterisk. This is default routing, and this one is static routing. Okay? Okay, guys. So I will test our communication again. I will test our communication again. Let's go to desktop and uh, ping 192.168.2. This computer.2.2. .2. We give it time. The first packet might fail, but the second one will pick up. Packets have failed, but two is successful. Okay. So as you can see on the second attempt and the third attempt, all the packets are successful. Okay. So guys, remember in this router we have configured how many routing protocols? Two static and default i will go ahead and remove static okay and test communication again okay because on the part of static i already learned about it in the previous class so static was this one through this interface so i'll just type no to delete that configuration just type no this one ip route 192.168.2.0 255.255.255.0 through each device gig 0 slash 0 okay and you hit enter can you see we have removed this configuration if you check it again we will not find it see we have removed it so let me check it again do show i put out it's not here see it's not here it's only one but originally s and s s steric were there but now S is not there. So I'll do right. I will do right. And try to ping again. Remember, it's only now default routing that is remained in that router. So let's just give it time. Let's just give it time. Successful, guys. It's successful. So for the same case, you can relate static routing in this router. And leave default routing only, okay? And try to pin. It will still communicate. So, guys, in this class, we have practiced how to configure static routing and default routing. And basically, these are the simplest, okay? So, these are very important class because uh, most of the assignments of the most of the projects that I have ever received, they require default routing, static routing. So, this is a class that you can't avoid, right? Okay guys, that will mark the end of today's class and let's see you again in the next class. Before you log out, kindly remember to subscribe. Bye.